when a man is running your name through the mud and you finally get a chance to drag him. Many dates. Many dates. A couple dates. No, we haven't. We have one. You haven't been a man through this whole entire process. You lie and tell Alexis that we've been planning to date each other after the show, which was a lie. You just sat here and said we went on a couple of dates. Another lie. I mean, we can go down. I'm pretty sure I can talk to each and every person and talk about a lie that you yeah, have connected. said. I'm talking about the lies that you just spewed out of your mouth. Hey, you guys. So Ron um, went live again recently. And in that live, he is stating that he maintains he was going out with Amber, um, that, you know, he's not sure if he should call it a date or not, uh, if she calls it a date or not, um, because they were together, but it wasn't a formal, you know, asking her out on a date. Like they were hanging out is pretty much what he's trying to say, I guess. Um, so I don't know what to make of the whole Amber situation. Um, he said he's cool with her or whatever. He says that he felt like the producers were trying to play up the Amber and Chris uh, storyline, right? Um, and so that's why they didn't want to use, um, I guess, their connection. But um, and he, I, it sounds as if he's saying the producers were aware that there was some type of connection made between them. But for whatever reason, none of that was aired to us. Um, and then he went into the whole thing about the argument again between him and Alexis. He still maintains that it was chopped up and that we didn't hear the entire argument um, that was going on between them. And it kind of made it sound like he just told her, oh, you can't do nothing for me. Um, he said it was more stuff that was said that we didn't hear. So... Um, he wasn't trying to be uh, disrespectful or rude or whatever. It, we didn't hear the full argument. That's what he says. Um, you can go over to his Instagram page and hear the entire live. He also brought up Chris Anthium in stating that the whole thing about her going to meet his mother, he said it wasn't like that. Like It wasn't, once again, a formal, like, let me introduce you to my mother because we're dating. He said it was more of... You know, he was having an event or something at his house, and he told her to stop by, Chrysanthia, to stop by. He said he also invited Alexis, um, but I, I think Alexis did not show up. So Chrysanthia was there, um, and, well, he said he invited some other people from the show, and I think he said somebody else from the show was there, but... Um, you know, it came off as if he introduced her to his mother like they're, you know, formal. Um, and he said it wasn't like that at all. Um, his He's close to his mommy. So he uh, just was introducing her to friends. You know, um, she was his mother was there while he was having this event. And so Chris Anthem came by and she was introduced to his mother. But it wasn't a formal uh, mom, this is my girlfriend type introduction. But he said that that's the way it came off. Uh, but that's not what happened. So, I don't know. Um, I think that, you know, Ron's going to have his story and everybody else is going to have their stories. Um, he said that he didn't really have any run-ins with Vernicia. Because uh, he heard the comments that Vernicia was made. Not Vernicia, excuse me. Kyra, because Kyra, we remember Kyra was saying that she felt like he was the common denominator for all of the mess that was going on. Um, he said that he didn't really have any issues with Kyra, um, so he didn't know where that was coming from. And he said he, according to him, he contacted her after hearing her make that statement and asked her what was up with that. Because he said they had been hanging out recently, so he didn't realize, you know, he didn't know that she felt that way, right? So I don't know. Um, so tomorrow is part two of this, uh, re um, reunion. And I don't know if you guys saw the preview of Renisha crying and, um, uh, stating that Joel wasn't really, you know, serious about seeing her or what have you. But you can tell, like I said in my last video, you can tell that that really wasn't going to go too far. Um, uh, he seems like a nice guy, like he wouldn't. You know, like, he'll still hang out with her, probably talk to her on the phone or what have you. But he was kind of making it clear that he wasn't really ready to move on yet, like, in a serious way. 
um, the way she was. And so um, sometimes when people are talking to you, you kind of kind of listen to what they try to say to you, right? Um, I think that to me, that like I said in the last video, that comes down to communication. You have to hear people out. You expect them to hear you out. But let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. What do you think is going to happen tomorrow um, as far as David and Liz? Um, I don't think it's going to get too heated. I think he's going to say what he wants to say and she's going to say what she's going to say. And it's kind of going to get dropped. Um, I don't expect any big show out like that. But um, it sounds as if she's kind of telling him, you know, where they're kind of telling each other, you're not telling the truth. So we don't know what's true and what's not because so much wasn't shown to us anyway. But let me know what you guys think in the comments um, about tomorrow, uh, what's going to happen tomorrow on the reunion. Um, I think we pretty much know who's together and who's not. I think Chris and Amber are saying that they're going to, you know, continue to see each other. And um, Liz and Jason. The rest of those people, I don't expect much. Um, like I said, I saw Kyra and AJ were hanging out. But they they knew each other anyway, right? They were already friends. So, I don't see it. I don't think there's anything romantic going on. But let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next video.